Welcome to the HMH new build installation video demonstrating how to correctly install a hidden media hub during a new build construction. In the box you will find the hub which has three spaces available for connecting the face plates. Alternatively there are cutouts located on the back of the hub which allows two more face plates with screw holes already prepared. The standoffs are used to tie down converters that may need to be held inside the hub. You will also find three different types of screws, the cable cover and four floating clips. Under the cardboard insert, you will find the lid and the frame. The lid can be removed from the frame by pushing out the eight tabs found around the perimeter. The cable cover also has similar tabs so you can insert or remove the cable cover as needed. The tools that are used to install the hidden media hub are a tape measure, a level, a screwdriver, a stud finder, a jib saw, a timber drill bit, a drill and a pencil. When installing the hidden media hub, we recommend securing to both the horizontal and vertical studs, but if this is not possible, then you can use the floating clips provided. Along each side of the hub you will see two grooves. These are used to attach the hub to the horizontal and vertical studs. Make sure that the rim of the hub is sticking out of the stud so that the jib can be placed alongside the hub rather than over the top of it. Using the B screws, secure the hub to the studs. Once the jib or wall lining has been mounted, you'll need to remove the hub to attach the frame. Using the C screws, attach the frame to the hub on the corners that will be fixed to the studs. On the corners that are not fixed to a stud, you will need to use the floating clips. You will need to thread the clip using the A screw to prepare it. Holding the clip against the hub, screw it tight into place. You can see how the clip moves when you turn the screw back. Secure the hub into the wall, first with the floating clip. Then using the B screws, secure the hub to the studs using the grooves provided. Connect the lid and the cable cover. The hub and the wall are now ready to be plastered and painted. Please note, this stud depth is 3x2 or 70mm. The hidden media hub is designed to comfortably fit inside this space. To complete the installation, you are now able to connect the face plates, making sure you have enough power points and junction points needed for your system, as well as including any converters that you need. When you are ready to mount your TV bracket, you will know exactly where the studs are. When using a swivel TV bracket, we recommend using the lid with the cable cover removed for a tidy finish. The excess cables can be tied to a swivel TV bracket using a cable wrap. A fixed TV bracket can be mounted directly over the top of the hidden media hub because it is so slim. You will not require the lid because the TV will be mounted so close to the wall. Be sure to check the photo gallery at www.hiddenmediahub.co.nz for alternative uses.